Hello, Force Box Kids. Miss Katie here. This week, we are going to be talking about the sun. And specifically, we are going to draw a diagram of the coming solar eclipse. So you guys can fully understand what makes up an eclipse and how it actually happens. What we'll be using this week, the materials are basically our a few colored pencils, our number two pencil, and our paper. Let's quickly go over our seven basic elements of design. We have line, shape, form, value, color, texture, and shape. We are going to be doing lines and, sh um, sorry, color, texture, and space. We are going to be using lines and shapes today, and then we are adding some color, and that's really it. All right, so this is explaining our solar eclipse that is coming our way on April 8th. And in Colorado, we are only going to be seeing a partial eclipse, also called a penumbra. P-E-N-U-M-B-R-A. And what, I am, what we are drawing today is we are going to be drawing a diagram to explain how it is that a solar eclipse exists. As I draw, I will be explaining. So let's go ahead and we'll start with our number two pencil. I'm going to move this aside and we're going to start with our sun. Okay, we're going to start with a very large sun in the top left corner, and we're just going to use our um, the best use our brains and our hands to create the best circle we can, we can create. We won't be using any special tools for it. If you want to find a circular shape can, um, here's a sample jar of paint, or if you have anything else small and circular, you can trace it. Otherwise, we are just going to eyeball a nice large circle for our sun. Now, the sun um, is much, much larger than the earth than we have here, okay? So we have our sun, and let's go ahead and draw a slightly smaller circle here for our earth in the opposite corner. The sun is much, much larger than the earth. In fact, we can fit over 1.3 million Earths within the sun. So there is no way we would ever have enough paper to draw this to scale. So we are just going to use our powers of imagination and remember that this sun is actually much larger than we could ever actually draw. Okay, so for our sun, let's go ahead and add some rays. You can do um, triangular shapes or you can make it wavy. I like to make some waves. And we're just gonna go around the sun and give it some characteristics to make it sun-like. Waves to represent rays, okay? And then in our Earth, we are going to just draw some random shapes to represent the continents and some land, okay? They are not actually, they don't actually look like the continents, but they're going to represent the continents, okay? So I'm gonna draw a few different shapes in there. Okay. And we're going to stop here and we're going to add some color. So let's go ahead and I'm going to color the entirety of my sun bright yellow. And you can push harder, you can make it nice and light. And I'm going to go all the way into my rays. Now, if you want to look at the eclipse, you want to make sure and get eclipse glasses to look through to protect your eyes. Okay, here's my yellow. And what I'm going to do to set aside the outer part is I'm going to now add some orange just to the outside where I have what is representing some sun rays. And this is just gonna add some fun color and dimension to our sun.
Okay, looking good. All right, so now we are gonna color our earth in, and I am gonna start by coloring in the land green. Okay, and then our, the water will be blue. And we will get something that gives a clear representation that this is Earth. Okay, awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you have an option. You can use a ruler or you can use, I actually am using my colored pencils as rulers. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a dot. If we drew a line through the center of the sun to the center of the earth, there is going to be a point at the edge of the earth where that line hits. Okay, we're going to imagine that line and draw our point right and we're drawing a dot, okay? All right, so with that dot there, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm gonna connect, um, I'm gonna create a line that goes from this dot that we drew to the edge of the sun, the farthest edge this way where the um, edge of the round hits and then it starts to come back. I'm gonna find the widest point and connect a line there and I'm gonna I'm not gonna draw it through the rays but I'm gonna start after the ray and I'm gonna draw a line to that dot okay and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of the Sun to the dot and this dot represents where you where the person who um, is going to be able to see a full eclipse. This is the line of totality where the, the person who is sitting on this dot is going to see an entire sun disappear behind the moon. Now where we are in Colorado, we are not going to see a full solar eclipse. We are going to see a partial. And at the most, we are going to see 65% of the sun gone in the middle of the day around 1230. It's going to start around 1130 in the morning and finish up around 130. So you want to make sure to be outside and hopefully we won't have cloudy weather. But this person, they are going to see a complete eclipse. I have friends who actually went down to Texas to um, within the line of totality um, and they are going to see a full eclipse with their family. Super exciting. Okay, so now we have that. What I'm going to do is somewhere early in this, where it's going to be still relatively small, I'm going to draw a small circle here. And this is going to represent the moon. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and color it in real quick. A little bit of yellow, and then a little bit of brown because there's some shading on the moon. Okay? Now, the rest... Now we're going to show um, the zone of the people who are going to only see a partial eclipse. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw from the same wide point, we are going to draw a line coming down right across the, this edge of the moon. And we're going to connect those two places and let it finish on Earth. So I'm going to show you. It's going to start on this edge and it's going to come to that side of the moon. And I'm going to draw a line here. Do you see that? Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing from this side to the other side of the moon. Okay. In this zone and in on this page where you have the, the light shaded red, that is where you and I will be in Colorado. We will see a partial eclipse. Okay, so let's go ahead and shade this area in. I'm gonna use my red pencil and I'm gonna outline that dot. 
and I'm going to create an arrow to that dot. And then I'm going to use this, my um, number two pencil, and I'm going to write full eclipse. Now, it's up to you if you want to write this down. You do not need to. Um, if you don't want to label it, if it's too hard to write the letters, you can have your mom write it as well. This is where we're going to, anyone would see a full eclipse. So a full eclipse is when this moon is going to come completely in front of the sun and it's going to block off the entire sun and the entire sun is going to be black in the middle of the day. What an amazing thing to see. And this special spot, I'm going to color this part in a dark red. This little area that leads to the dot that we drew, okay? And then where we have a partial eclipse are these two other triangles where only part of the sun will be blocked. And I'm going to shade that in a lighter red. Wherever that part hits the earth, these two shaded parts, sections, this is where, and I'm going to draw the arrow here. Okay, see the arrow I drew? This is where part of the sun will be blocked. Maybe a small amount for some people and for others a larger amount. And this is a partial eclipse. And then I will label the entire thing. This is our solar eclipse. Now, if this were a lunar eclipse, okay, this would be opposite. This is when the earth is going to be between in the middle and the moon is on the outside and the earth is blocking off the entire light hitting the moon and the moon goes black. And you know how we see the waxing and the waning crescent? Um, so when the you have the waning crescent and it's the light is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and then for one night or maybe two, it is completely black and we have no moon. That is a lunar eclipse. Lunar referring to the moon. And this is the solar eclipse when the sun will be completely blocked. This will happen on April 8th in Colorado. Make sure you protect your eyes and you are safe, but we are all done with our drawing this week. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy the eclipse and I look forward to seeing you next time.